Hi, Tim here from World of Sleuths. Uh, I'm doing a different type of video today. I'm going to only be showing one book in this video because uh, all the other, around most of the others I'll be mentioning, I don't have any more. In fact, but uh, I'm going to talk about how I got to into reading mysteries and thrillers in the first place. See, I, I talked about how, how when I was young, my mom used to take uh, both my brothers and my sister and me up, you know, well, take, get us all onto a bus that went along with her and take us to, uh, to the library and uh, to uh, a matinee movie like once a month uh, when my dad was on drill that uh, having drill see he was uh, in the Army National Guard well on uh, the Saturday of that she'd take us to the library and uh, we check out books and uh, from the kids section and then uh, we go to a matinee movie and then we'd go back home but well, anyway, uh, and, and some, some, and some, well, some of the books we get were below, especially after we started reading uh, from uh, in school. But see, uh, they wanted us to learn to read through school, and uh, that was pretty much in first grade. See, this was in. Uh, that back in the 60s, see, I'm 58 now, and uh, I, uh, in first grade, uh, I uh, moved up uh, from like the lowest level when I started in first grade to around the next to the highest level in reading uh, uh, during uh, through it in first grade, so if not the highest level. Uh, in the class, so, but, uh, and, uh, that, some of the, and to uh, me start, got to where we were reading, could read chapter books, I'd uh, pick out books in the library, and some of them would be like uh, mysteries and stuff, and uh, my mom and dad would uh, pick a, pick it as uh, books for Christmas and stuff, that along with toys they bought then bond us to have ch 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 all toys for Christmas. So, like here's an example. This is one of the books they got me. My mom had had it. Uh, I kept it. Uh, I recently got it from her like a couple years ago when she was getting ready to move into her condo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lassie book from the '60s. Like it's uh, the copyright of it's from '66. And it has a mystery in it. To, for those of you who don't know, Lassie was a TV series from the uh, 50s and 60s, and I think into the 70s, and there were movies and stuff. Lassie was a colleague that had various owners, and uh, Lassie had, had saved people and that, uh, other animals and stuff. And there was usually a mystery involved in, in them too. But, uh, like, there was another mystery I remember checking out from the library that uh, I was really into. I can't remember a thing that happened in it anymore. It's because it's been uh, over, uh, over 45 years. It was called The President's Playing is Missing. But I remember that I really liked that one. Yeah, but uh, from the uh, but but uh, uh, in my but, but along with those, uh, one year my mom and dad got me a couple box sets of science fiction books of H. G. Wells and uh, Isaac Asimov's. Uh, Isaac Asimov's, uh, and of the Isaac Asimov, there were some that were that, some that I really like. I can't remember the title, titles of them even, 
because I read I've read so many Isaac Asimov uh, books uh, that where uh, where it was like a detective ones in the future uh, solving crimes and I re those were the ones type that I really enjoyed and uh, from the, there I uh, uh, went on and uh, from uh, and then my mom also had like Reader's Digest condensed uh, I got uh, Reader's Digest condensed books I go for those if you don't know what those are there'd be like four, four or five of the current books that out that uh, uh, they'd uh, be uh, bridge versions of the books in one volume uh, and uh, and uh, they t and they'd be like various genres and stuff. And uh, my mom would uh, read uh, read all of them uh, for in the current one. Like she'd get them like monthly, and then she'd put the book out on the on a shelf in the living room along with the others and. But at times I'd grab one of them and read the books in it, and then her and I would, or the books that appeal to me, and then her and I would discuss it, have a discussion of them. And uh, a lot of times, like uh, that, that's where I discovered uh, like Jack Higgins and some other authors, and a many of uh, which are like thrillers or. And it's like I really enjoyed like the spy thrillers or, and stuff like that even though I didn't know they were considered to be thrillers and of course there were mysteries in them and then of course I, I also bought books like uh, Seven Days of the Condor uh, uh, which was set, the movie Three Days of the Condor was based off of which was like a uh, uh, thriller, t which was like a espionage thriller, about and from the seventies, and uh, then, and I had thoroughly enjoyed that. I read, I had read that book and stuff, and that, then uh, when I went into college, I couldn't read didn't have as much time to read, but then I went into the Air Force and I, when I was in Texaco, Mississippi, I had picked up The Hobbit and that got me into uh, read, uh, reading fantasy and I was heavy into fantasy for a, a few years, uh, I ground wow. Maybe four or five years until like around eighty six, eighty seven. I picked up uh, a book that everybody was talking about, uh, which was uh, the Hunt for Red October by Tom Clancy. After reading that, I was hooked on techno thrillers. I would read some fantasy, but I was hooked on techno thrillers. But then uh, my reading slowed down uh, after. An my son was born 29 years ago yesterday and uh, then even more after my daughter was born and, uh, it will be 23 years ago this May and, uh, and, her, and, uh, with, and of course my son was 16 and uh, he was starting in scouts and stuff and, and so and I ended up being one of his leaders and stuff, so along with work, working full-time, I, uh, I didn't have much time for reading, uh, being work, work, uh, along with all this, uh, being a scout leader and working full-time, and uh, along with this other activities in school and stuff. So, uh, with that, uh, I have to have, have, have get this much 
get that nearly as much reading done as I would have liked. So, and uh, it got even have or even less reading when my daughter got into school, and uh, it was like that until pretty much after my had daughter started college, and because busy with the activities for both of them, and. Uh, so after we became empty nesters, we started to back up some, but then I was also taking some college classes, trying to get it, finish my bachelor's degree, and uh, up until like, uh, it was almost uh, three years ago when my uh, health problems uh, really started up bad. I was having them with longer than that, but uh, three years ago they started up bad, and uh, it was, was uh, this three years ago. This me where I pre where it got so bad where I had to stop with my schooling and stuff, and and then I started to uh, really started to more with my reading on uh, with book and stuff, and I start just reading more thrillers and mysteries and anything else and. I was trying to read classics and stuff, but uh, it was a little over a year ago, I, or a little under a year ago, I realized I, I was reading more mysteries and thrillers, and that's when I switched my channel to be being mainly mysteries and thrillers. Well, that's all I, well, that's all how I got into mysteries and thrillers. I'd like to hear how some of the, with me being a host of March Mystery Madness, I've heard some of you would like to hear about that. I'd like to hear how some of the other hosts that got into being, being big fans of mysteries uh, and, and thrillers, so. Uh, I, and I've heard others would probably like hearing that. Yeah, but uh, I'm not saying yeah you'd have to do it. But if others uh, are interested, uh, go ahead and uh, do a video like this. Well, that's all I have for this time. So until next time, take it easy and keep on reading.